if you are always putting it in a space that, you know what, I don't need you, I can do this by myself, I don't need nobody, eventually you are going to run him off. Men cannot exist in a place where they don't feel like the man. What is going on guys? Josh Love Talk here, back with another dating video. If this is your first time on this channel, what I do is talk about dating and relationships from a guy's perspective. Feel free to check out my videos and if you like what you see, please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I post my videos. If you've been rocking with me for some time now, you already know what's happening. So let's get into it. Today's video, I am talking about six things men want from a woman. Six things men want from a woman. And I want to say that this, this video is for the mature folks. So um, it's for those that are introspective, those that you know want to self-reflect and look at the way things are happening in their dating or relationship situations and would like to improve it. So let's get into it. The number one thing that a man wants from a woman is respect, okay? For me, I would say that respect to a man is what love is to a woman. So you know how most women love to feel a certain type of way when we compliment you, when we buy you flowers, take you on fancy dates. When we do all these romantic things, the way you feel, that is what respect is to a man. That's how a man feels when he's respected. And if you're going to ask me, what does it mean? Because at the end of the day, both men and women want to be respected or need to be respected. For us, it's a lot to do with our ego. So as a dude, if a man's ego is being bruised. If a man's ego is being abused, he will feel disrespected. So anything a woman does that attacks a man's ego, he classes it as disrespect. So whether you belittle his ideas, you make him feel like he's nothing, you embarrass him in front of his friends or you belittle him in front of company, those things will make him feel disrespected. And when a man feels disrespected, he doesn't feel like the man anymore. When a man cannot feel like a man around you, he will find somewhere else he can feel like a man. Okay, so if he's with you and he doesn't feel like a man, and but he feels like a man at his job, that is where he's going to spend most of his time. If he feels like a man when with his friends, he will spend most of his time there. If you feel like a man with another woman, with another woman, um, from work, friend, is is being more feminine, is being more respectful, he will go there and spend more time with her. And that can lead to many other things. But what you, should, what you need to know is that a man needs to feel like a man. And the way he does that is when he is respected. When a man is respected, he feels loved. And when he feels loved, he is going to stay with you. He is going to appreciate you. And in most cases, he is going to reciprocate the same thing. The second thing I would say a man needs is he wants to feel needed. If a man comes around you and he sees that he cannot fit in anywhere, he cannot fit in, um, it, it doesn't have a place in your life, he is not going to stick around. We need to feel like a man wherever we find ourselves. So if you've got your own money, You've got your own house, you've got your own car, you don't. You can pay all your bills. Even if your house has been robbed, you have the capacity to disarm the person. You can do everything by yourself. You don't need a provider, you don't need a protector, you don't need anything. You don't need anybody to profess their love to you. You can do it all yourself. He is not going to want to stay in that situation. And I know some women feel like, well, men are intimidated by success. The way we men are wired, we just want to feel needed. Okay, we want a place where we can be a man, where we can show our masculinity. If that place doesn't exist, then there's no point being there. What am I going to be? Your doormat or your, your sofa? You know, so a man wants to be where he is needed. If you are an independent woman, and there's nothing wrong with that, by the way, I'm not saying anything is wrong with being accomplished or, be so, or being successful as a woman. I think that's a great thing and you should strive for that. At the same time, 
I would say leave room for where a man can handle business. So what I mean by that is take a stance where I can do this by myself, but you know what? I'll let you do it. I'm happy to pay all my bills, but because you're here, I'll take 30, you take 70, or even if it's 50, 50, whatever. But as long as he can do something in that relationship where he is the protector, he is the provider, he's professing, then he can feel like a man, if that makes sense. Once again, all this goes back to a man's ego. If you are always putting it in his face that, you know what, I don't need you, I can do this by myself, I don't need nobody, eventually you are going to run him off. Men cannot exist in a place where they don't feel like the man. So that's the second point. A man needs to feel needed. The third point is a man wants a woman that he is physically attracted to. This one is always kind of contentious because, you know, what is definition of physically attractive? It's not my place to tell anybody what size is ideal, what shape is ideal, what height is ideal. You know, different people want different things. I know what, I, what I'm physically attracted to in a woman. It might not be the same for the guy next door. But whatever it is, it's so important for you as a woman to invest in the way you look. Because we men are visual creatures. We are moved by what we see. Okay, when you're when you when when he started talking to you, believe it or not, it wasn't your amazing personality that made him walk up to you. It was the way you looked in that dress. It was that top you were wearing. It was the way your makeup was all all nice and and and, and good. It was the way your hair was did. So, pay attention to the way you look. A lot of relationships, especially marriages, because it's long term. It's easy to get complacent. They lose the source because there's no physical attraction. Because everyone's going complacent. It's now, you know what? I'm here now. What are you going to do? You're going to leave? No. So you've going complacent. Invest in the way you look. When a man is physically attracted to you, trust me, it's a different vibe. It doesn't matter that Charlene is, is twerking on Instagram. He doesn't care because he, he knows I've got somebody in the house that looks the way I want her to look. You know what I mean? And of course, with physical attraction comes sexual activity because if it's drawn to you, then you know it's going to go down. But when a man is not attracted to you, you just become more like a, a nice to have. And also, when he's attracted to you, he will show you off. Ego. The way women are wired, our ego means a lot to us. When a guy finds you attractive, he wants to show you off to anybody. Listen, all of this, I don't do social media, all of that. It doesn't matter. If he finds you extremely attractive, it feels, it feels like my woman is, trust me, he is going to show you off to the world. He will take you everywhere with him. He wants everybody to see that this is my woman, if that makes sense. So invest in the way you look. And this is not an attack on anybody. Just it's a good thing. For the relationship. The fourth thing a man needs from a woman is independence. Now I know this is a bit contradicting because earlier when I was saying, you know, don't be too independent. Yes, that still stands. In this case, when I say independent is, what I mean is be able to do for yourself, have your own life, have your own interest. Don't just be 100% dependent, like nothing happens if it's not around. Because as men, we also want to have that confidence in you that if for whatever reason I'm gone, my kids are going to be okay. You're going to be all right. I don't need to be there 24 seven to handle situations. Like I can trust you to look at the things. And that sort of takes the relationship to a next level where it feels like, okay, cool. She's able to take care of business and that can help. That can give him the confidence in terms of making you his wife, starting a family with you because it's pressure when you know that if I'm not around, she can't do anything, you know, um, because we need space. As men, we need space. We need peace. We need room to think. We need room to analyze and strategize and, and push things forward. Having a woman that is 100% de dependent is distracting. It's, it doesn't help our situation, doesn't help our cause. 
don't get it wrong. I'm not saying there. Of course, there is a place for coming together, sharing, talking, and spending time together. I'm not saying you know that that should go amiss, but also balance it out being by having your own thing, doing your own thing, so that he can do his own thing, and then both of you can come together and share experiences. I feel this is how relationship grows when you're smothering a man when because you don't have a life of your own every time it's out for a long period of time where are you when are you coming home it gets tiring you become a nag really like you become you know it's it's not attractive it's what i'm trying to say so be independent have your own thing going up don't lose your friends because you found a relationship don't say, you know, I'm no longer hanging around with you guys because I've got a man. That is a bad move, okay? Keep your friends, have your life, have your interests, develop more interests, start doing things for yourself because these things make you more attractive um, to the guy. And we men need it because we need space, we need our peace, we need, things, we need time to do guy stuff. Hang around with the guys, go to a bar, play video games, and all of this thing. The fifth thing a man needs is that a man needs a woman that can add value to him. If you cannot add value to a guy's life, you would be seen eventually, irrespective of how you look. You could be the most beautiful woman in the world. If you cannot add value to his life, eventually you'll be seen as a liability. Or he would have so much power that he would abuse you. So uh, when I say abuse, I'm not necessarily talking about physically, but you don't you're not bringing anything to the table so he can get somebody else that looks good he doesn't have to be faithful to you he doesn't have to stick with you you are very disposable because you are not bringing anything else to the table for a man to value you he has to see you as an asset and the way you can be an asset is adding value to his journey we are most men are on our way somewhere you know finding our purpose working our purpose and trying to get to where we would like to be. The last thing you want is a woman that distracts you or takes you away from that. We all want a woman that can push us towards our purpose, a woman that can support, a woman you can open up to and say, you know what, babe, I'm going through this. I'm feeling discouraged. I'm doubting myself. And she can say, you know what? I trust you. You've got this. That counts for a lot. You know, that, that's a big deal. Or a woman who can share her experiences, who she's getting her, she knows how to do it, she's got connections, she's got things, and she can bring that to the table to help his ambitions. That is what makes you valuable. So invest in yourself so that you can add value. And the better you are as a person, the better value you'll be able to add to your relationship. The last thing I want to talk about that men want from a woman is appreciation. In my opinion, and I stand corrected, but in my opinion, men are not appreciated enough. That's just my view. Men are not appreciated enough. A lot of times when men do things, it's always like, well, yeah, you're supposed to do it. You're the man after all. You know, men really get, thank you. We really get, I appreciate you. We really get you are doing well. We tend to get it from our guys because we all know what we're going through for some women it's just like well duh am i meant to clap a fish for swimming mm -hmm. you know but men would like to be appreciated trust me men would like to be appreciated and it doesn't even have to be a grand gesture a little thank you babe i see how much effort you're putting in it's gonna work out you know, I thank you for what you're doing for us. It might not to you, it might be nothing, but for us, it's a big deal. Why? Because as a man, one thing you have to keep doing is you have to keep showing up. And when we go out there and life knocks us down, punches us, beats us up, and we come back home and have to show up again the next day, which is what we have to do. We have to keep showing up. It can take its toll. So being told or being seen right counts for a lot being told that you know what you are doing fine it's not great but i appreciate you and that is the time it matters the most and i think that is something as a man we we we, we need 
because it's encouraging. It shows that, you know what, our efforts are being seen. And that goes a long way to making us happy. It goes a long way to also feeding our ego. And it pushes us to do even more. Those are the six things I feel a man needs. Of course, there are many more, but those are just six that I feel like I would like to share with you guys. And the, the, the reason for this is so that you can apply it to your relationship and just see where the pitfalls are in, in, in what you're doing and the way you're behaving towards your man in your relationship and see if you can improve the quality of the relationship or the marriage you have. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. That's me for today. Thanks for listening. I'll catch you in the next one.